For the last year or so, we've experienced a GPU shortage like no other. Scalpers! <laughs> and whether it's due to silicon shortage or increased demand, it's been increasingly difficult for gamers alike to get their hands on the newest tech. Whether it be Team Red, Team Green, or Team Blue. So, how do you buy a graphics card at MSRP in 2021? Let's break down some ways to get your hands on new hardware. And while these methods are neither an exact science nor consistent, they're 100% better than spending over double on eBay and supporting scalpers directly. First off, let's start with buying directly from the source. AMD sells their CPUs and GPUs directly to consumers through their website. You're able to buy both hard to find AMD CPUs and their reference GPUs. But like most things on the list, they sell out almost immediately. Just like that. They did recently add in bot protection, so your chances are a bit higher battling real people rather than battling bots. Your next option would be the chosen one, Best Buy. Best Buy for some reason, uh, Nvidia has chosen as their retailer of choice for the Nvidia Founders Edition cards. You're able to buy other AIB cards as well, but this is currently the only way to snag a Founders Edition card. Firstly, make sure you have a Best Buy account set up in advance, and make sure you have your billing and shipping info input to make the checkout process quicker. The way to buy a card is via a queue based system. The moment you click on the add a card button, you are added to a queue. This is to weed out any pesky bots. Pesky bee. After that waiting period, you have to click heckin' fast to get through the checkout. I remember when I got mine, I didn't wasn't even sure if I put in my correct address. If you don't get one right when it drops, don't worry. Best Buy typically trickles out the drops over the course of about an hour or two. So just keep your finger on that F5 key. From the data we've gathered since February, the drops seem to happen about every two weeks or so. Though, they can happen on any random day throughout the week, but it's typically in the morning. The third chance to get a GPU is by throwing your hat in the Newegg Shuffle. The way this works is Newegg will have a set of items they have in stock and they will add those to the shuffle. You are able to select as many as you like. If you are selected, you have the ability to purchase that item at whatever Newegg has the price set in, though this is typically MSRP. The shuffle happens almost daily Monday through Friday. Notifications from Newegg are sent out for each shuffle, so either get subscribed to that or the Build a PC Sales subreddit to see when the next shuffle is. While this method doesn't require speed, it does require patience. You are battling over 100,000 people for the same product. So be prepared for the daily dose of, you weren't selected. Though to give some hope, I have one twice myself. Once for the 5900X that's in my system, and once for Taylor's 3070. And I'm only barely better than the average person. So it's possible for you to win too. As honorable mentions go, GameStop is due to the GPU game. They're not one we can endorse, but just know that option is there. One more would be the Zotac store. Now, their website is run by a single hamster wheel. There used to be more hamsters, but the others died. So now it's up to one lone hamster to run the show. Other than that, they drop cards sometimes. But surely it can't be as easy as just knowing the right sources to buy them, right? Don't scalpers or miners with bots snatch them up in like two seconds? And how do I keep up with the new e-tailers when they decide to start selling cards? Great question. The best way to know when these sources release more stock of hardware is by using a robust notification service. One of the best examples of these is a Discord channel called Stock Drops. It's powered by a custom built bot to help its members purchase out of stock items such as GPUs, CPUs, and consoles. It's totally free to join with a small donation offering you some additional perks. And with an average of 40,000 members online at any given time and over 6,400 confirmed orders, Stock Drops is one of the best resources we can recommend to help on your hunt for hardware, hands down. Some members have even created graphs of past drops to help estimate when the next drop will come. And their FAQ section also has thorough guides for checking out with certain merchants such as Best Buy, AMD, and Zotac to give you the best possible chance when there is a drop. There are also other apps too, like Hotstock.io, which can be good for a backup, but their algorithms are usually a minute or so behind stock drops. 
And when you're competing with tens of thousands of other people, plus who knows how many bots, every second really counts. And yes, this quick draw notification method can seem hopeless at times. Getting up early to refresh your screen dozens of times, guzzling down coffee because you don't want to look away, only to have the GPU come in stock right when your three too many coffees force you to the bathroom. It's kind of ridiculous. So if that doesn't sound like you, or you're unable to devote that insane amount of time and dedication to this, then Big Daddy Linus may actually have a solution for you. Linus Tech Drops. Linus Tech Tips started the Verified Actual Gamer program. They've partnered with AMD and ASUS along with some others to get GPUs into the hands of actual gamers. He releases them randomly in videos, either on the main channel or during the WAN show stream. And he leverages LTTstore.com to release those cards. During the video, he'll give you a passphrase that you add on to the end of the URL like lttstore.com slash AMD GP, please. After you enter the correct URL, you're then given a gaming quiz. And after passing what they call the gamer gauntlet, then you're able to buy whatever GPU they're releasing at the time. We'll put a link in the video description of Linus and Luke going a bit more in depth on how it works. So, very difficult to buy a GPU. In the end, if you give money to scalpers, what did it cost? Everything. In all seriousness, if you are too desperate for the latest hardware to try out any of these methods, the best bang for your buck would be to just pick up a pre-built with the hardware you need. It will cost you, but at least your money will be doing more than padding some scalper's pockets. And while we hope this situation will improve in the coming months, we'll just have to wait and see. In the meantime, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to make sure you don't miss any of our upcoming content and hardware that you can actually buy. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments if you've had any success in this GPU drought. We'll see you next time. Bye.